dear students in this class we will consider some preliminary ideas about income determination in a three sector model in the three sector model we introduce government government interferes in economic activity in two ways one is government spending the other one is taxation in a two sector model as we have discussed earlier the economy is closed and also there is no government but in the three sector model we retain the assumption that economy is closed but government is introduced government is introduced in the form of spending denoted by the notation g and taxation denoted by the notation t government spending and taxation and to see what is the impact of introducing government in the two sector model now government policies related to spending and taxation is known as fiscal policy government action relating to spending and taxation is known as fiscal policy in the form of a definition fiscal policy is the use of government spending and tax policies to affect the level of economic activity fiscal policy is the use of government spending and tax policies to affect the level of economic activity now when government spending is introduced aggregate spending consists of three components personal consumption expenditure business expenditure and government spending so aggregate spending consists of c plus i plus g c plus i plus g and uh, let me say c plus i r plus g from the product side from the income side income is allotted for consumption allotted for savings allotted for the payment of taxes this is the disposition of income used for consumption private savings and taxes so from the income side from the product side now when government is introduced government can expand aggregate spending government can expand aggregate spending by adding the amount by increasing the amount added to private spending private spending consists of c plus i r when government purchases goods and services aggregate spending will increase that is government purchases of goods and services increases aggregate spending also government can reduce aggregate spending by reducing the spending on purchases of goods and services also government can increase spending by reducing taxes or government can reduce spending private spending by increasing taxes that means government can influence government can influence the level of economic activity by varying its spending and tax at the, in the keynesian model 
as the level of income and output depends on aggregate spending as the level of income and output depends on aggregate spending government can increase or reduce output and income through its spending and taxing policies stated differently fiscal policy can be used to influence the level of economic activity that is the level of income and output and it has been generally accepted after the great depression of 1930s that fiscal policy should be used to attain certain goals one if the economy is working below full employment below full employment if the economy is operating at less than full employment then what is required is fiscal policy must be expansionary government should increase spending and reduce taxes expansionary fiscal policies if a economy is working below full capacity then fiscal policy must be contractionary that is government should reduce aggregate spending by reducing spending and increasing taxes if a economy is working uh working at full employment the government policies are required to stabilize the economy maintain the stability so what is required is fiscal policies should be adopted in a counter cyclical fashion or contra cyclical fiscal policy fiscal policy should be adopted in a counter cyclical fashion to mitigate the effect of inflationary processes and deflationary processes in the economy so promoting stabilization of economic activity at the high levels of employment and output is one of the important goals of fiscal policy other goals are rapid economic development in a, in the context of an underdeveloped economy or equitable distribution of income and wealth by taxing the rich and uh, distributing the proceeds among the poorer sections of the society like that our analysis is restricted to the use of fiscal policy for economic stabilization only economic stabilization only other goals are not considered in our analysis now we develop three fiscal models in the first fiscal model we consider government purchases and taxes in such a way that gross tax is equal to net tax t is equal to tg that means there are no transfer payments transfer payments are assumed to be zero in the second model transfer payments are considered so g and t where t is equal to tg minus r there is a distinction between net tax and gross tax because transfer payments are added in the third model in both of these models taxes are assumed to be autonomous autonomous means a head tax a tax imposed on persons irrespective of the level of income in the third model we consider a different type of tax policy where tax is is considered as a function of income so t is say t a plus t y of the four tax is considered as a function of income so we develop three fiscal models to uh, analyze the effect of 
gross tax, transfer payments, income tax, etc. That is our next concept. That is developing macroeconomic models, incorporating government in the form of government spending and taxation or in the form of what is known as fiscal policy.